Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you're well. Reports are coming from the Gaza battleground concerning the passing of IOF personnel due to a rare fungal infection. Despite receiving treatment from highly skilled medical professionals equipped with state-of-the-art medical appliances, the fungal infection persisted within the wounds the soldier had sustained on the battleground, ultimately resulting in his demise. Additionally, it has been reported that at least 10 other IDF soldiers have been affected by the same fungal infection, and they are currently undergoing treatment in hospitals. The IOF has stated that the origin of the fungus might be Gazan soil, but investigations are still underway. The soil in Gaza has become a conducive environment for various infections due to factors such as inadequate cleanliness amid ongoing hostilities and the underground pumping of seawater to drain the hidden tunnels. Earlier this month, a number of cases involving severe diarrhea were reported affecting several IDF soldiers who had been engaged in a ground invasion. The incidents were attributed to suspected food poisoning. Professor Eyal Lashem, an expert in infectious diseases at Sheba Medical Center in Israel, conveyed to the website, some of the wounded in Gaza are exhibiting complex infections, which are the result of conditions on the ground. Nevertheless, the soldiers were either returning from the battlefield because of getting infected or because of being wounded are being transferred to separate hospitals so that the spread of infections is minimized among the Israeli local occupation. It's such an irony that the IOF who themselves had rendered the soil of Gaza a breeding ground of infections due to the constant airstrikes are getting ill for the same reason and to get themselves treated they have to be transferred to separate Israeli hospitals so that their infections might not spread to their own people but what about the civilian population of Gaza where will they get themselves treated if they catch similar infections since the beginning of this more than half of Gaza's hospitals have stopped functioning, with several being directly attacked by the IDF. The remaining are in the brink of collapse. Almost 190 ambulances were directly hit by airstrikes, and more than 250 health workers have lost their lives. People in Gaza are constantly being hit and targeted by heavy airstrikes. And now, due to a lack of clean drinking water and unhygienic conditions, Gazans are exposed to life-threatening diseases and the spread of infections. On December 28, the WHO stated that the spread of infectious diseases is now a bigger threat to human life than bombings in Gaza. Eventually, we will see more people dying from disease than we are even seeing from the bombardment if we are not able to put back together this health system said Margaret Harris, a WHO spokesperson. The one who contributed to this undesirable situation are getting themselves treated in the most sophisticated hospitals under the care of specialized doctors, and that too in isolation. A statement in the leading Israeli newspaper outlet mentioned how the spread of infections is dangerous for the rest of the Israeli ground forces, the hostages being held in Gaza, and Israel's public health but it dared not mention the innocent civilian population who are facing the maximum brunt of this IOF made crisis. The only thing that gives hope and courage to the people of Gaza is that Allah has not left them and is witnessing all the hardship that they are going through. The only hope that is keeping their spirit high is that even if they lose their lives in these times, they will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as martyrs. While when an oppressor dies, he will be held accountable for each and every injustice that he has done in this world. May Allah be always with the Palestinians. I mean.